Hey, what's going on everyone? Today's December the 7th, 2021. Let's talk about Matic today. Let's talk about Polygon and see where this market price is going to go. You guys can see, I already got a price prediction on the chart. It really didn't go the way I expected it to go, which is fine. I'm not going to get all of my price predictions correct, and I'm going to be real and fully transparent with you all on when we don't get it right. Even when I do get my price predictions right, I'm going to show you both sides because we can learn from these market moves. So before I get started and show you why a breakout may be intimate in the market for Matic, make sure you keep it locked in here. Hit the like button, and also subscribe here to the channel real quick. Let me talk about the last price prediction first. Okay. Yeah, you can see it. Price in, loop, uh, in Matic, excuse me, did not go the way I expected it to go. I was trying to play the weakness into the market in Matic, right? And overwhelmingly, the strength dominated the market. Yeah, it did. The strength definitely came into this space for Matic. I didn't get it right. Now, at what point would we have thought and said, okay, cool, maybe I, the, the market's not going the way I expected it to go. At what point would you have tried to minimize those losses in Matic? One day. Let's try to take a look. Because it was a lot of weakness mixed in from November the 19th. I would say all the way up here to December the 1st. Like there was a whole lot of weakness in the market in Matic. And you guys can tell, namely on these days, 26th of November, even on the 27th. But the strength into the market in Matic came in on the 28th of November. That was the first spot for us to say, okay, cool. The market in Matic get, has given us weakness on the 26th and then again on the 27th. But then the 28th, hmm, the market closed on the high of the bar. And then following that, the 29th there's still indication that strength was coming in the market in Matic so I mean we got signals that told us that the buyers were trying to control the market in Matic on those days and then we got that breakout right here okay on the 1st of December that is where the breakout occurred into the market in Matic now take a look yeah the market was strong but it was definitely some selling mixed in in Matic. So we would have gotten out on that particular close right there. So it's about 27.65% loss, right? But wait, if you'd have waited three days later, look, the price came back down to our initial spot to where price was trading on the 19th. Look at that. Yeah, so we wouldn't have gotten that area though. But yeah, you guys can still see that the selling was still trying to enter the market in Matic right there on the 3rd of December. All right, so yeah, I didn't get it right. If we were to get out the market, now we'll be down around 50%. Yeah, it happens. Now, let's talk about this real quick as to see why a breakout may be trying to occur in the market in Matic, real quick. Matic is probably one of the only markets that is definitely showing us some strength, that is definitely giving us the indication that the market movement higher is still intact. I mean, look at this. The market in Matic is still upholding to the trend. There's a lot of demand here in the market in Matic. Fantastic, right? For those looking for price to go up. Now check this out. Look at where the price is though, right? Look at this. The market in Matic is trading around all time highs. We have to be careful. Now, even though we may be expecting a breakout to occur, we still got this lid on the market in Matic around $2.45 maybe all the way up here towards 270 to where the market high came in on the 18th of may so let's not be completely clueless let's not be walking into the market haphazardly and think that we're good and golden no we still can see that the lid that sellers are present at two dollars and fifty cents maybe two dollars and seventy cents they're still there but look at this one reason why i'm looking for the market price in matic to go up is based off what happened on this day, right? Right there. All of the selling came into the market in Matic, right there. All of the selling came into the market on the 4th of December, right alongside the 6th. Like people tried to offload their Matic into the market and guess what? There was enough buyers there that was willing to absorb the selling, which is the indication that this price is trying to go up in Matic. Hmm. So let's check this out on a two day time frame. So looking at this in Matic right here, I mean, all the volume came in 
I'm a very staunch advocate of looking at volume on price charts. Okay, I don't care what anyone else tells you. You always want to look at the volume because it gives you an indication of how volatile, how involved was the market, right? And then you combine that with the price chart, I mean, with the price bar. Just take a look at the price bars in conjunction with what we have in volume. So all of this high volume came into the market in Matic on these two days and price still did not go down. All of these price bars have very wide spreads from high to low, but price still moved up. That tells you how strong this particular market is in Matic. So the indication is being seen already on the chart that the market is trying to go up. Okay, so we got that. We established that point. Now, given that we are trading towards all-time highs into the market in Matic, right? We still need to be a little bit more conservative regarding how high price can go. Because we only have, the only indication we have is back here in May as to how high the market really went. So in order for us to really see price break out, we would have to move above that. Okay. Now we have a day and 12 hours left on this current three day price bar, but currently the market still looks like it wants to go up. Okay. And we're going to continue to show forth that we're going to continue to play the strength into the market and Matic based off that alone. But the caveat is anywhere in our price target area will have to be TP, right? It'll have to be. Because I don't have any indications here in the background that we can actually utilize to say, okay, how high can the market in Matic really go? Okay. So I'm just going to move the prediction area up here to the highs that came in in May. But can we exceed that? Oh, most definitely. We can see the market definitely break out above the previous all time highs. We can definitely see that. But I cannot forecast it because I haven't seen how high the sellers are willing to take the price. Okay, so looking at this here, my first area of support is going to be around $2.20. As long as the market holds $2.20 in Matic, we're going to go up. My second area, your ultimate area, is going to be down here towards $2. Okay, so as long as the market price in Matic goes up, supports $2, then we're good. We're golden. Okay, so let me go ahead and move that up just a little bit. And this is it, right? I'm looking for the price in Matic to continue to go up as long as price really holds $2. Simple. Now, anywhere within our price target area of the green will have to be TP. Can we exceed it? Definitely, especially when you look at this on a three-day time frame, which we still got a day and 12 hours left. So I'm not really too reliant on what is going on on a three-day time frame, though. Okay? Definitely here on the five-day. That five day price bar right there definitely indicates that the market in Matic is going to try to make all time highs look like. Most definitely. All right, so check it out. I've dropped my price prediction here into the market in Matic. I want to know where are you expecting price to go in Matic for the next three to four weeks leading into 2022? Drop me a comment right now and tell me where do y'all think the market is headed. And that's it. Done. Make sure you maintain the profitability and as always, trade different.